Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris. I am a board certified fertility expert and the medical director at the world renowned IVF1 Fertility Center in Naperville, Illinois. And this is Infertility TV. One of the reasons that IVF is so successful is that it is a selection process. If you start out with a large number of eggs, you are more likely to find some that will produce healthy embryos. This is the reason why fertility experts use high doses of fertility medications when women do IVF. These medications are the best way to try to get a large number of eggs. But there are some women who might be better off using low doses of injections or even oral medications to stimulate their ovaries. Let's take a look. First, all well done studies in the US IVF database have shown that overall pregnancy rates are significantly lower with mini IVF than with standard IVF. This makes sense. Fewer eggs means a lower chance for finding good eggs. There is no evidence that egg quality is better with mini stimulations. However, there are some women who do not respond well to fertility medications. Even with high doses of meds, they may still produce very few eggs. Since fertility injections are very expensive, this can make the treatment very costly. Using a medication like Clomid will typically only get a small number of eggs to develop, but it is much less expensive and easier to take. It's a pill, not a shot. The egg quality is no better, but it's not any worse either. So, instead of trying to get a large number of eggs at one egg retrieval, you can try to get just one or two eggs, but repeat the process several times. So, the main advantage of mini IVF is for women who would need a high dose of fertility medications. They can save a lot of money on expensive injections. The disadvantage is that they may need to have several egg retrieval procedures. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. Do you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.